Hey, everybody, welcome back to A Late Show. That, that musical tinkling you hear in the background is our friend and yours, Mr. John Baptiste. Hello, John. Hello. Happy uh, National Voter Registration Day. Are you registered to vote, sir? Oh, yes, I'm registered, and I'm helping to spread the word because we got to register now. Everybody, uh, register. Uh, go, go to, uh, go to uh, what are we going to? BetterKnowAballot.com. BetterKnowAballot.com. And what's that you got in your hand? That's another website, right? What you yes. got there? Headcount.org. You can go register to vote. It's important. We got to get out there, you know, 40... You over 40% of people didn't vote the last time, and look where we at. We got to push it. All right. You want the you, you, you want the future you want. You got to do what you got to do. Yes, indeed. And we're going to do it. We're going to do it. I, it's already done. <laughs> now, I understand you did something with uh, one of my uh, one of my friends today, uh, my yeah. friend Michelle. Yes. What, what did you guys do? You know, there was such a great thing going on on Instagram where she went live for the first time and was talking to incredible people in the arts, and I was a part of that, and I played a song that was a voter registration ballot to encourage us and soothe us in this crazy time. And just to be clear to everybody just tuning in, we mean Michelle Obama, not my other great friend, Michelle Pfeiffer, who is also <laughs> encouraging everyone to vote. Oh, it's, yeah, she's okay, great, Okay, it's too. Michelle Obama. Yeah. All right? That All right. Michelle, yeah. John, how about a little voting music? Oh, yeah. You got to go vote. You got to go vote. You got to go. You got to go vote. I hear a hit. I hear a hit. John Baptiste, everybody. Yeah, baby. You know, I spend a lot of time carefully molding the paper mache of stories, decorating it with the finest and most vibrant feathers and the most bedazzling gemstone designs to create the delicate yet haunting Venetian mask that is my monologue. But sometimes, sometimes, I like to take an old screwdriver, poke some holes in a potato sack, and throw it over my head to create the Texas Chainsaw Massacre hood of news that is my segment. Quarantine wise. Quarantine while. Scientists in Canada have come out with a study linking bold eyebrows to narcissism. So the thinner the eyebrow, the more selfless the person. Well, sit down, Mother Teresa. Turns out the real saint is Christina Aguilera. According to the study, thick, dark, and dense eyebrows were a dead giveaway for someone who ticks the survey options that say, I have a natural talent for influencing people. It makes sense. So many influencers have big eyebrows, like Kim Kardashian, Cara Delevingne, and the most self-obsessed of all, Eugene Levy. Get over yourself, Eugene! Also well-deserved. Congratulations. Quarantine while. In space news, NASA astronauts have a new task, make videos of Estee Lauder products. Ten bottles of new Estee Lauder skincare serum will launch to the space station, and NASA astronauts are expected to film the items in the microgravity environment for use in ad campaigns which is a gross corporate encroachment on space exploration, but still a step up from the 80s when Estee Lauder tested mascara on Chewbacca. Quarantine while. An interesting tidbit is making the rounds online about Costco, which has charged $1.50 for its iconic hot dog and soda combo since 1985. Costco hasn't changed their hot dog price since 1985. Big whoop. 7-Eleven hasn't changed their hot dogs since 1972. That's so cheap that according to a recently resurfaced bit of Intel, the CEO of Costco complained to Costco's founder, Jim Senegal, that they were losing money on the hot dog deal, to which Senegal replied, if you raise the price of the effing hot dog, I will kill you. Now, I'm sure that was just an idle threat. I mean, if you actually killed the guy, then he'd have to dispose of the body somehow, maybe by grinding it up and, oh, dear Lord. <laughs> Costco hot dogs are people! They're a great deal, but they're people. Quarantine while. A Wisconsin man was shocked to discover a brain washed up on the beach. That is disgusting. When you discard a brain, you put it in the brain's recycling bin. Come on, everybody has to do their part. Now, you'll want to know this wasn't a human brain, but it was packaged pretty weirdly. The man who found it says he came across a brick-shaped package wrapped in aluminum foil with a pink rubber band along with pink flowers. Worst gender reveal ever. Quarantine while. 
The NFL season is underway, but of course, due to the pandemic, they're playing to empty stadiums with pre-recorded crowd sounds, which is great, but also weird. Because on Sunday, the Eagles quarterback was booed during a home game by fake crowd noise in Philadelphia. Now that's commitment. Eagle fans are horrible even when they're not there. Apparently, the simulated fan reactions were only heard by TV viewers, not by players at the stadium. That is so unfair. If the players can't hear all the booing, how are they supposed to know they suck? I just think piping in fake crowd sound is kind of a cheap trick. And my pledge to you is that we here at The Late Show will never stoop to it because my audience is too sophisticated to fall for that garbage. Isn't that right, audience? We'll be right back with Jesus and Miro.